it's so important to hear the voice of the people that use the system. Um, so what we're looking for is we're looking for uh, these people to uh, share their lived experience, share their voice, uh, so that we can really listen and integrate what feedback they have to give us into the into the design and the co-design uh, of this integrated healthcare system. And what's important is it's an opportunity for people to have in our community uh, to have a voice um, uh, towards issues like um, uh, health system integration, uh, the care they receive, uh, healthcare access and the service delivery uh, that they get, um, the coordination of care and navigation of care, the transition of care between um, one provider to another provider. Um, things like information sharing across providers. So if I'm a patient in one situation, and uh, I'll give you an example for, for example, my, my father-in-law, uh, he uh, lived with us for four years and uh, at home, and he required some services from home and community care. Uh, eventually he needed to go into long-term care and was accepted at Fairburn's nursing home. And uh, what was interesting for us as a family caregiver was the, the transfer of information. So, uh, you know, is that information that all the home and community care partners are um, uh, know about my father-in-law? Did all that get transferred over to, uh, to Fairburn? Or there were times, for example, when we had to take my father-in-law to Emerge. And uh, the information and, uh, that got collected in Emerge was that transferred between all of the, the, the healthcare providers. So, um, so our key with this is we really wanted to uh, ensure that we get representation from a diverse group of people that have experienced our, our system. And we are looking for people from uh, a variety of different uh, backgrounds. We were hoping to hear the voice of people from uh, our Indigenous nations, uh, uh, from uh, First Nations, from uh, our Francophone community, uh, mental health and addictions, uh, gender-based violence survivors, the uh, LGBTQ2+, uh, the dementia community, child and youth, and obviously people with uh, disabilities and visible minorities. So we're trying to be as inclusive as possible, um, but uh, we're hoping to have uh, representation from those groups and from our geographic area. I applied to be on the steering committee and I was selected and it's been about almost 18 months and uh, Irene and I are really an amazing team because we sort of you know I'm more of the idealism and like you know my the patient experience and she has a caregiver experience but she's got that very analytical background and hospital experience in that and from the time last year when I started getting involved on the steering committee, I started learning more about hospitals and stuff. Sadly, last year, starting in October, I had a crash course in hospitals and ERs and home and community care when my father was um, into the emergency three times. Uh, he had had uh, kidney disease, but then um, I pushed for a bunch of tests because they just wanted to send them home and then have them go to all these specialists. So um, sadly, after three months and dealing with the ER and all the different hospitals and different sections and tests and specialists, home and community care, unfortunately, my father's kidney shut down and he passed away the same week that we were announced as getting our Ontario health team. And he knew my involvement. And he was very proud. So I bring all this up because this is what we're looking for. We're looking for people that have been part of the healthcare system feel that they have um, advice on how it can be improved and also what's working because there are things that are working but there are always room for improvement and we also want to know like what the gaps are and how we can get better access to care so um, my goal as a patient uh, partner and a co-lead for the the patient family caregivers partners advisory committee which is a, <laughs> a mouthful is to bring that experience and then help get the voices like Irene mentioned of the other ones who maybe not have such a strong voice as uh, Irene, or maybe not Irene and I, because she's really been involved with the care that her father-in-law is receiving and the care her, her parents received, but to get those voices that aren't being heard. 
And therefore, those are the ones, too, that are maybe being missed in our healthcare system. Because, you know, even myself, I felt missed. And I definitely, as you know, have a strong personality and know how to get things done. So um, the goal is to navigate people through the healthcare system is the end goal. And my personal feeling is how can we do that? And just, you know, to make things work. The most important message for you know, people to realize is that this is the model that we still believe in and, and we still want to move forward with. So despite there being a global pandemic, um, the importance of locally integrated healthcare that has deep, um, deep ties to patient advocacy and patient input is still what we believe in and, uh, and pro- uh, locally and provincially and still what we're marching forward with. Um, we've uh, we have uh, you know made some uh, made some strides in moving forward with uh, even hiring staff. We've got some postings out right now. In addition to the patient family caregiver advisory council, we've got some postings for staff for the OHT. So there are some really good indicators that we are dedicated to this um, and committed to this kind of model. Um, I guess in addition to that, um, really the way that Muskoka has handled the COVID-19 pandemic would have been a little bit different if we all weren't already sitting at the OHT table and had not already committed to um, those kind of relationships and the integrated service delivery. So we really, what you saw, I think, in Muskoka with the response to the pandemic was an integrated and coordinated as much as possible, but like um, a shared approach to servicing the community that I think has roots in the MAOHT philosophy.